um, exhaust manifold. Can we pop the hood on it yeah. real fast? So Ralph, I'll show you what I've been up to under here. Uh, well, I've seen you been doing that. Uh... So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. You, John, you got your car from this gentleman, right? Yeah, yeah so, uh, you know, the, the story there, you know, I bumped into Ralph at a car show, mm -hmm. and I was admiring his um, uh, Scrambler, I think it was, he had yeah. at one of the car shows, and Ralph showed me a photo of his property with all the AMXs and Javelins and AMCs, and, like, I was floored, and then I, I didn't really know where Ralph lived, but I realized as I was driving kids to high school for you know, three kids in high school for like 12 straight years. I was passing right by his house and I noticed this one poking out of the garage up at the house, the back end. John, you like your Yes. And uh, so um, I think I bought, uh, I saw Ralph had posted on Facebook Marketplace that green javelin back there. Okay. Put two and two together, came over to see that, fell in love with this one and uh, you know, we we made a deal. And you just got this one back, right? Didn't you just get this painted or something, no, or you're you're about to? Go. It's gonna go. Oh, okay. So is this the original paint? Uh, no, it's been repainted. Oh, okay. The okay. owner before me repainted it. Okay. So the the, uh, the, the Do you paint have your emergency is... blinkers on? I just turned off. The, oh, okay. Because I hear it clicking. Yeah, or, oh, that's, that's the the, that's the heat from the side pipes. Off. Okay. Yeah. But uh, you know, it's got some chips and things like that. I mean, right. You know. It's got a beautiful finish to it. There's some issues with the trunk. We get a little bit of bubbling here under the doors. There's a little bit of uh, chipping, and we've got an issue in the uh, hood. So right. this is going to go into body tomorrow. And what year is this? Sixty-nine. Okay. And it's got the what three ninety in it? Three ninety yeah. auto, yeah. So and is that the original motor? Do you think? Uh, yeah, probably. You, you can tell by the serial numbers. Yes, it's an X. Oh, okay. So yes, that is the original motor. So, so uh, and it, of course, the AMXs. Well, some most of the AMXs didn't have back seats. None of them. There's that of weird javelin AMX oh, thing. That's, that's when AMX was its own car. <laughs> right. Sixty-eight through nine. None of them. They were the only other two-seater American-made car. They only had two seats. Right. But then in 1970, when they dropped the AMX line, it became a package for the javelin. Right. And Javelins had back seats, and then later on it became a package for uh, Spirits and everything. Yeah, like the Javelin, also like had the SST, right? Level, like right, SS, right, like the SST. Package, right. So, and this is an automatic. Wow. So, so this is a GoPack car. So the GoPack cars came with a 390 heavy-duty radiator, heavy-duty um, uh, suspension, the, the rear uh, five-leaf spring, um, uh, the, the five uh, leaf springs in the back. Right. Um, heavy duty um, sway bar in the front, the over the top stripes. What else am I forgetting? Now, now? does the disc brakes? Disc brakes, front disc brakes, heavy duty brakes. It's got a, it says AMX. Did you put that in 08744? Or... No, those come in the car. So everyone came numbered. Yeah. yeah. So this is AMX number 08744. So, as far as we can tell, it's not a production number. It was just a random number that they put in there to make it look like a production Oh, okay. Kind of like what Corvette did in the 88 yeah. uh, 35th anniversaries where everyone got numbered from like 0 to like 2,500, yeah. but like they were, had yeah, nothing to do with the VIN or anything. Production. Okay. Okay. And, uh, you know, I've, since getting this, you know, I've done a lot of homework and talked to a lot of people. There are Facebook groups you know guys with amx's and right you know you can throw questions out there pe experts answer them not always agreeing but right. you know yeah. they'll, they'll get infused with each other yeah. it's know. i i had that be the only reason i know i knew nothing about the amx's other than they really cool red white and blue ones and oh, then yeah, somebody yeah. had one of the, a friend of mine who in fort myers who i didn't he's been in my clark club for years never even knew he had one you go into his house he's oh yeah i got a forty-two thousand mile amx javelin with a blower on you'll there's a video of it if anybody's interested but um there was, i didn't even know he had that car and i've known the guy he's been on my car clubs for 15 years and you go in and they bought it brand new in 72 mm -hmm. 
Then they put a 1955 front end on it, made it a gasser from like day one. But everybody's like, that's not an AMX because it has a Mexican insult. But it was a Javelin AMX, I guess a 72. Yes. And there was a, and all you guys who love Javelins and AMXs know that you all argued about that for like two months. <laughs> Yeah, the 1970 <laughs> was the end of the body style, its own body, and then after that they became packages for the Javelins. They dropped the AMX line, and which is actually this car to its compatible Javelin is 10 inches shorter than the Javelin. And like, a, and like this, the 69. Like when I think of a AMX. Is this the one that was like real, the real famous red, white, and blue one? Like, is this the is the '69 like the desirable one kind of? I, think, I would I think. I think 1970 would I'd be agree more. With okay, that. So the '70 was like the the last year of that. Oh, okay, so that was the one that was like the pinnacle of the. Yeah. yeah I mean, but I mean, they look gorgeous. They all look. Yeah, Ralph will show you some okay. '70s that he has. So they have don't, a. I don't have a '70 AMX. I only have a '70 Javelin. Uh, okay, oh. but, but similar same. hood with the. Um, Yes, the hood is the same. Okay. Between Javelin and AMX is the front fenders, the hood, trunk lid, windows, doors are all interchangeable for and, the three years that they were made. And those side pipes, is that like a factory option side yes, pipe? Okay, so that was a factory. You can do a factory option. It's trendsetters, and it was a factory option. Okay, so it's not. Uh, so it's like Corvettes now. or something the same way you could get the side yeah. pipes on the. And is that like a straight pipe or? that comes out or yeah, it's got uh, a muffler built in okay it. so there's a yeah, muffler built in it's, so it's yeah exactly it's that loud is, but it's not as loud as right okay and it's got the original um exhaust manifold can we pop the hood on it yeah. real fast so ralph i'll show you what i've been up to under here uh um, well i've seen you've been doing uh, a lot of work to it so um when I painted the motor i painted the motor <laughs> when i when i got this from ralph the motor wasn't pretty let's put it that way um, and as I've worked on it and cleared stuff out I figured you know I'm, I'm going to start painting it you know I, I these are the original chrome valve covers they were uh, mixed reversed. up and they were reversed where's right your, here with your engine tag yeah. yeah typically a tag would go there okay um, you know identifying the engine um, I don't know what's on that Ralph uh, where it was built it, and when uh, yeah it's all serial numbered and what motor it is. The, okay. the, the lettering in the serial number and in that tag designated that what that motor is. Okay. Also though, their motors, the actual cubic inches are cast into the side of the block. All right. So if you needed to see what it is and you had no engine tag, and if you crawled down by the motor mount, it's actually cast right inside. Oh, wow. Unless it was a factory replacement, then oh. there's no, no number cast into it. Okay. But this is, it's a work in progress. So what I've done so far is, you know, got it home from Ralph's, changed the oil, changed the plugs, changed the spark plug wires, converted it over to a Pertronics electronic ignition. Um, the uh, radiator was, um, you know, probably not some, you probably wouldn't want to take on a long road trip. So I had a record. So this is the radiator that so came. So that's the original radiator, the or original. the one that you, the original to you, or yeah. to the car that you made. I mean, this could have been replaced right, or down, record. Back on a day two one back exactly. in the day, but. But I, I wanted to keep the original style, and then I, doing that, I replaced all the hoses, the heater hoses, the heater valve, um, you know, d doing little painting and touch up as I go. There's a lot Is this a heater too, delete? Like, like what should go there or is... Nope, that, oh, the okay. heater core still that's the heater intact. Motor. Oh, that's the heater motor, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the fan motor right here. Okay. This one actually has a electric wiper option too. Yeah. Which in, still in 1969, vacuum wipers were still being used. Oh, so okay. So this one was ordered a little bit higher end. Yeah. Power so, brakes, that was, well, that came with the disc brakes. Right, it's got power steering. It has, no, it has no, it doesn't? Steering. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no power steering. steering manual. Oh, so, that must be a beast to... You get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> when I grew up, we didn't have power steering. Yeah. That was an option. <laughs> so, so you know what helped? Um, uh, tires. So yeah. it had a beautiful red line, original the style. Original bio, bias bias. Yeah. Right. right. Um, but they're not so great with the handling. So I, I changed the tires over to you know, fresh steel belted tires. That improved the handling. What'd you do with the old Big one? time. <laughs> no <laughs> somewhere they were a little dry rotted ralph um but on top of that 
every bushing under the car replaced. The, the springs in the back were really, uh, after I got it home, Ralph, the back end started sinking and sinking and sinking. So Are you sure you didn't park it in a wet, wet field? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. So the, the springs had to go. So, so parts really? for, for, you know, because AMC yeah. doesn't exist anymore. It hasn't for decades. What, how, for parts, can you get pretty much? I mean, there is the off, yeah, aftermarket. There's a lot of, um, it, it's actually getting more popular now uh, because Chevys and Fords are pretty much all used up you right. know, and, and people are looking for something different. You go to a car show, there's 400 Camaros, there's 400 Mustangs. Yeah. There's only one of them. Yeah, see, like, it's a funny thing. I rarely see these down south. Right. And then I was telling you last Sunday, Sunday or Monday, whatever day I, I got up here, I went to over in uh, Perkasie, Pennsylvania. Okay. There's a place called uh, Goose um, Auto Salvage junkyard private junkyard and the, the one of the family members took me in there and the owner of the junkyard loves amx's so when we went in it was javelin amx amx there's got to be 15 or 20 of them in there oh, really? which is strange because i've never yeah and we'll put the video up for if anybody wants to look and stuff and they sell the parts um cool. but uh know you know when the owner of the he's you know the grandfather now that owns it i mean he was in amx's so he buys javelins and amx's and they're in there and uh so you know that's i i figured well that's the only way to really get parts i didn't realize like they have like you yes, know there's there's the that's aftermarket why, is that's starting. why this collection is here that's what i'm saying <laughs> like that's the the coolest thing to me is rarely seeing a, a traveling from florida to tennessee to north south carolina all these places and you rarely see an amx or javelin and here I'm up here for four days, and now I found you know you, you know you you if you wouldn't have told me to come you know like about your car tells me about you I, I'm all excited to come here because I rarely see a javelin now I see, and then that other yard I went in there, so I think it's it, you know maybe it's a popular northeast car too maybe they were more popular in the northeast than they were in the south I don't know I mean I don't I, think I so I don't know I know there's a lot of in, in the Midwest and out west yeah. too but the, where were they, they built they would tend to survive they were built in Kenosha. Okay. Uh, that was their main plans, but the uh, dealerships, they were the number three guy. Right. Back in the day. Well, didn't they use parts from a lot of the other? They, I thought AMC yeah, used some they, parts from the other manufacturers. I mean. Yes, I mean, but they have things like a Ford carburetor, a Ford starter. They were using this stuff. It's a Delco right. distributor. Yeah. yeah. It's that kind of thing. Yeah. The motor is their own. Right. They just the used some right. off-the-shelf parts from other ones because it's easier right. and you didn't have to do well, the R&D on it. They didn't have to produce it. them. They didn't have yeah. to manufacture them. Yeah. And that was something they could do to just be competitive. Wow. Uh, well, this is... They did make a good car. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is an awesome car. Thanks, John, for hey, sharing absolutely. with it. Thanks you for know, contacting just, me. Uh, and again, it's a work in progress. going to continue to make it pretty. The front end, you know, these cars, uh, up until, I guess, 1970, Ralph, they had a, something called a Trunnion which is a yeah. like an old school 19, right. suspension system right you know um, you know it was built on uh, uh, underneath the coil and they're they go bad you know you got to yeah. replace the bearing the bushing so that was done all of the front end um, you know bushings the inner and outer tie rods just got a fresh alignment so it's running down the road real straight shakes oh. a little bit about 80 miles an hour got to work on that yeah but yeah, not on the street ever. No, he yeah. the, he does the speed limit. It's, exactly. It's, you know, so yeah, he oh, he yeah. always does the speed limit. The seat belts on, never spins tires. Just, exactly. It's just for that weird jumping. You know, well, you it's have. not really speeding if somebody like Ralph passes you. <laughs> yeah. That speed. So, so. Um, anyway, work in progress. Usually, you oh. find another one on the road. You don't pass them. You just stick with them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because well, there's another one. <laughs> well, I love. I, I appreciate John doing it. I appreciate. Uh, Ralph coming and letting us see it. This is where it came from. If you guys like this kind of video, please uh, subscribe. Put in the comments if you guys uh, love the car. Because John, you watch the channel, so I know you've read the comments. And uh, if you have any questions for him, put them in. I'm sure he'll do it. Uh, he'll he'll answer them. And um, so appreciate it. And if you watch the next video that we're gonna put up, we're actually gonna let Ralph take us for a tour of. Uh, of his little collection here that nobody ever sees because it's on private property and it's not a uh, it's not open to the general public so uh, don't ask where it is if you're interested in something i'll give your i'll send your information up to ralph and then if he wants to reach out to you because he's in a good mood and had a couple adult beverages then he'll call you but uh 
you know, just so, for, for him. So We're getting at the age where, you know, there's, there's too many things for, here for me to enjoy. Yeah, he, he's got some projects here, and he may part with one or two. So uh, if you reach out to me, like always, I, I'll, I'll give the information to him. All right, so thank you guys, and uh, thanks for watching. April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.